most amazing artists. And how are you today? Today will be a great day. Today we will continue creating art with objects around the house. We will learn about the Getty Museum Challenge. Miss Collier will show you her example of the challenge and then you'll create one at home. Let's create. Love, Miss Collier. Let's learn about the Getty Museum. So before we learn about the Getty Museum challenge, we gotta learn about the Getty Museum. So here is a picture of the Getty Museum. It is huge. Man, look how many buildings are part of the Getty Mu Museum. The Getty Museum is in California. This red state is California. Remember, we are in Kentucky over here. We're right about here. But the Getty Museum is in California. Hmm. This is a picture from the Getty Museum. What do you think the Getty Museum has inside it? That's right, the Getty Museum is an art museum. It has lots of artworks. Let's look at some examples of the Getty Museum Challenge. All right, so now we know what the Getty Museum is. It's an art museum. Let's look at some Getty Challenges, the Getty Museum Challenge, and let's see if you can figure out what the Getty Museum Challenge is. Here we go. Hmm. What do you notice about these two pictures? Yeah, they look really similar. Hmm. Can you tell which one is the real one? Yeah, the painting came first, and then the other one, they did a recreation. How did they recreate that image? Yeah, with household items. What did they do to make the blanket? I'm sorry. What did they do to make the waves? Yeah, they used a white blanket for the waves and a blue blanket for the water. How did they make the boats? Yeah, some brown socks. What is that ice cube tray for? Oh, it's the writing. How cool. All right, let's look at another one. Hmm, Getty Museum exhibit Play-Doh by Jeff Koons. Hmm, which one do you think is the real one? Yeah, the one on the left is that sculpture. How did they recreate it? Yeah, they piled up colorful socks. That's awesome. That reminds me of our laundry landscapes from a few weeks ago. Let's look at another one. Hmm. What can you tell that's the same between these two pictures? Yeah, they're both bent over and carrying something on their back. What's the person on the right, the real image, uh, what the original, what are they carrying? Flowers. What's the recreation carrying? Toilet paper. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's look at another one. Hmm. What do you see that's the same in these two? The rock, the two little people, the giant head, the doorway. What do you see that's different? Yeah, the wall's kind of red, whereas the recreation's cardboard. Oh yeah, hers looks like a girl head and that looks like a boy head. Hmm. Cool. So what is the Getty Museum Challenge? Yeah, you take a famous artwork and 
you recreate it. Let's look at a few more because they're pretty funny. I like the facial expression. That's what really makes this one. Ah! Oh my goodness. This one's funny. Do you think that this guy had a plunger? Probably not, but that was a perfect idea. <laughs> What'd they use to recreate the scream? A potato! Oh, oh my gosh, this one's awesome. Does he have a real wig? No, what do you use? A towel! Oh gosh, a couple more. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. Oh wow, this one's beautiful. Ah! Oh, they recreate it with their cat. Make sure you don't hurt your animals if you decide to include them. Whoa, this one's so good. I wonder how she made the collar. Can you tell? Hmm, it's hard to tell. <gasps> That's amazing. I don't think the people who recreate it own a big pool, but they use their kiddie pool. One more. Oh, wow. How'd they change this one to make it fit for our time? Yeah, she's wearing a mask. That's really cool. Let's do our own Getty Museum challenge. Step one, choose your favorite artwork. So I'm including um, a link to this article here uh, that was released by the Getty Museum to give you some tips for how to best recreate your challenge. So you'll see some more examples. And they talk about kind of where the challenge started. Um, and they give some other ideas. You can click on these links if you want to. And they show you some more ideas if you need some more ideas. But we're going to go back. And then, scroll down. <laughs> I really like this one. Oh, the tea and cookies. Oh, these make me laugh. That one's awesome. Ah! Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Tips for the quarantine challenge. So first, find great art you like. So you can click on this link, and that will take you to the online Getty Museum collection. And you can pick, you can click on any of these links. Um, my favorite is usually paintings or photographs. So if we click on paintings, and scroll down, uh, we can see some of the collection highlights. Oh, there's that plumber guy. And we can scroll through, and we can see some of the highlights, or you can scroll down and see these are some of the most recent paintings that they've gotten, and you can choose one that you like, or if you go back a couple slides, back to the original article, there's also tons of other artwork, um, art museums that have digital uh, 
collections online. So you could go to the Met, the Cleveland um, Art Museum, Indianapolis Art Institute of Chicago, um, and click on any of those. You could also try a Google image search and put painting, and then you might put like an item you have at home, like maybe you really want to include your goldfish. So you put painting goldfish and see what comes up. I'm going to go to the Speed Art Museum's collection. So I really want to create um, an artwork from the Speed Museum, which is a local Louisville uh, art museum. So they also have a small online collection. So I'm at speedmuseum.org and I'm going to click on collections. And then I'm going to go to, what was I looking at? Recent acquisitions. You can look at any category. Uh, and I like this one because my hair is brown. So I think that I might be able to recreate that look. So some important things that when I'm looking at a picture that I want to recreate, I'm looking at the details. So what details do you see in this image that I uh, that you think I could recreate? Yeah, the red background might be important. Wearing my hair up, kind of like it is now. Is she wearing glasses? No, so maybe I should take my glasses off. And then what do you notice about her shirt? Uh, she's got a yellow shirt. Well, I got a yellow shirt. Oh, but she's got this white collar. So I'll have to find something for a white collar and maybe make a bow. But I think that I'll be able to recreate this one. Step two, find items lying around your house. Hello again, we're in my house and we are going to look for some items that I could use to recreate that picture. I think I'm going to turn this shirt inside out. Yellow shirt. Now I need to find a white collar. What do you think could work for a white collar? That's right, tissues. All right, not perfect, but we're looking pretty good. Now we need some sort of tie for the bow. I used my headphones to give it a little bit of a modern twist. And let me tell you, tying my headphones in a bow was tricky. All right, our last thing is the red background and I have the perfect thing. This red blanket will do just great and I'm gonna hang it upon this door and then take a picture. Step three, recreate the artwork with those items. All right, I'm in front of my red door and ready to take a picture. The last thing is that facial expression. Now, I'm talking to you, so I'm looking in the camera, but in that picture, she wasn't looking at the camera, so I gotta look to the side a little bit. Ta-da! So there you have it, friends. A silly challenge, the Getty Museum challenge. Uh, in the assignment, I'll include some links um, to that article that I sent you um, so that you can find some famous artworks. Uh, you can use the ones that were in this video. You can use ones that you find on your own. If you need help finding an artwork, please let me know. It should just be fun, uh, but I'd love it if when you send me your picture, if you could include um, the artwork that you used as your inspiration. Uh, Cause then I could see what you tried to recreate and really give you some awesome feedback about how you did a great job. Cause I know you will. As always, I miss you friends and I love you and I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.